In all the cases that we've seen so far, the constant on the front of x, the coefficient on the front, has been a 1. We haven't had to divide or multiply both sides of an inequality yet so far. So that's what we're going to look at next. So again, we're starting with that same true inequality, 3 is less than 7. But if I multiply both sides by negative 2, is it still going to hold true? So that's what we're going to do. Take a peek. Minus 2 over here and minus 2 over here. What are we looking at? So I've got minus 6 is less than minus 14. Is it still true? So a smaller negative, is that smaller than a larger negative? No, that's false. So what do we have to do to make this inequality hold true? We need to flip that sign around because in reality, minus 6 is greater than minus 14. If you're having trouble seeing it, draw yourself a number line. Here's minus 14, here's minus 6, and we're over here is 0. Minus 14 is to the left of minus 6, so this is less than. So, what happens when we multiply and divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number? By a negative, we need to change the direction, flip the sign. The direction of the inequality changes. Okay. But, if I am just multiplying by a positive number, or dividing by a positive number, do I need to switch? So let's just say that was a positive 2. So then I'm looking at 6 is less than 14. That one's still true, so we don't have to flip any signs when we're multiplying or dividing by a positive, only when we're dealing with a negative. So keep that in mind. That's a one kind of caveat we have to remember when dealing with inequalities. So let's look at this first example. 4x is less than 28. We want to solve it, graph it, give it in set notation. So, I'm trying to get x on its own. It's attached to a 4 right now, so I need to divide both sides by 4. It's positive, so again, I don't need to change the direction of the sign. 28 divided by 4 gives me 7. So, again, set builder notation. All x, such that this holds true. And with an inequality on a number line, what are we looking at? Quick and dirty one. Here's 0. Here's 7. I want an open or a closed bracket on 7. So I can't include it, so it needs to be open. In what direction do we need to be traveling? To the left, because we want anything less than that. Okay. Next. Now we're dealing with a y variable. Works just the same, but our set notation is going to involve y instead of an x. So, to solve this one for y, I need to divide both sides by what? Minus 2. So what needs to happen? Flip the sign or it's not going to hold true. So y is greater than minus 9. So set notation. Set containing all y values now, since we're dealing with a different variable, such that this holds true. y is greater than minus 9. Quick and dirty number line picture. Here's 0, minus 9, somewhere down there. It's going to be open bracket at minus 9, since we can't include it, going to the right. Okay. So, go ahead and take the try. Solve that inequality, graph it, give me the set notation. So, that last one for you, what had to happen? I had to divide both sides by minus 4. So, we had to remember, flip the sign around. And... What did your solution set look like? Set containing all x values, such that x is greater than or equal to minus 5. Again, quick and dirty picture. What are we looking at there? Here's my 0, here's minus 5. Is it open or closed at minus 5? Closed, since we can't have it exactly equal to minus 5. Going in which direction? Positive, since I want anything greater than that. 